Well, hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Fit in 15. Today, we have an upper body workout, and all you're going to need is a set of dumbbells and a mat. And let's go ahead and get started with a two-minute warm-up. My friends, we are going to start with a little hip hinge, reaching the arms behind us, and then reaching up high to the ceiling. Start with a little movement in the body. A couple more of those, and then we're going to bring the knees up to the chest. Get them up nice and high if you can. Again, adding the arms so that we get nice and warm. Next, you're gonna take the arm across your body. Get that rotation to go all the way down your core. And then we're gonna take the arm up and over our head, lengthening through the sides. This time, we're gonna take it down to the floor. Jack it up. No need to actually touch your shoes, but we are reaching down, sending those hips back, digging a little bit deeper into our legs. Finally, we're gonna finish here with some squats and some arm circles. I know it's an upper body focus today, but we still gotta get that lower body involved just a little bit. And to finish our warm up here, we're gonna do a little burst of cardio with some skaters. Just land soft and get your body from one end of the mat to the other. So if you've never done a Fit in 15 with me before, we have 10 exercises that we're going to do as many reps as we can within one minute. That means you are going at your own pace, no need to match me, no need to match the music. Our first exercise, we're gonna take it out into a nice, strong plank position. Wrists underneath the shoulders. We've got one minute of hand release push-ups. Taking it all the way down to the floor, letting go, and then pushing all the way back up to that plank. Could you do this on your knees? Of course you can. Just remember that you wanna hit a nice strong plank each time. And at the very bottom, lifting up the arms and the legs. So not only are we waking up the front of the body, but we're also getting the back of the body. of this minute come on you can do one more and we are done very small break in between exercises second exercise coming up grab some dumbbells feet about hip width apart roll those shoulders back and down draw the abs in and we're going for a lateral raise soft bend in the elbows stand nice and strong through the core and really, you just have to go to shoulder level. No need to go any higher. We're doing this for an entire minute. Clock has started. Finishing up in three, two, one, and we are finished with exercise number two. Put those down, shake it off, quick break. Gonna lay down for this next one. Hitting that chest, and that is a big muscle, so I've grabbed some heavier weights, my friends. Turn those wrists in, inhale to open, like you're giving somebody a big hug, exhale to close, and make sure those weights are coming together right above the heart. 
draw the abs in and there might be like a little curve in your lower back and that's okay. A little curve is fine, but you don't wanna feel like you're arching too much. One minute. Seconds left. Three, two, one, and we are finished with this. Rock and roll it on up. Next up is a standing biceps curl. An entire minute. I'm dropping down to my medium set of weights. Plant your feet into the ground, draw those abs in, tuck the elbows close to your body, and basically we're picking these weights up and putting them down again. Clock has started. Five seconds left, four, three, two, and put them down. All right, you got a quick 15 second break here. And next up, we're gonna do triangle push-ups. Give those biceps a break. Let's hit up the back of the arm. Now what makes triangle push-ups different than a regular push-up is your hands are very close together. Almost like you're drawing a triangle with your hands. Okay, now of course we're all built different. If you need to open up your hands a little bit more, if that feels better on your wrists, on your shoulders, then you're gonna do that. Okay, now I'm doing it on my knees, but hey, if you wanna do it on your toes, I ain't gonna stop you. Clock has started, friends. Let's go. These are not easy. Come on, we're going all the way until three, two, one, and done. Give yourself a big old pat on the back because that was hard, friends. All right, so we're gonna move on. Remember, quickly, from one exercise to the next, we've got some reverse flies hitting up the muscles in the back. Hinge forward at the hip, draw the abs in. Weights are right below us, wrists facing in, and it's almost like you're trying to get your elbows to touch behind your back. They're not going to, of course, but that's kind of the goal here. Exhale as you lift, and inhale as you bring them back down. Then it started. in here. Last one. Boom. All right. Put those down. Shake it off. On to exercise number seven. We're just going to need one dumbbell. Trust. That's all you're going to want for this one. Overhead tricep extension. Yes. I know those tricep push-ups didn't feel good, but it's only one dumbbell. 
And remember, the focus is upper body. You can take it to that staggered stance or a side-by-side -side stance. Most important thing that you want to keep in mind here is that your elbows are very close to your temples. Trying to get a full range of motion. Each one looking like the best one that you've ever done. I'm sure you can tell by the look on my face that this is not easy, but come on, we're almost at the end here. Three, two, one, and done. Put that dumbbell down, shake it off. We're hitting the bi biceps again. And this time we're gonna do an alternating hammer curl. The difference between a hammer curl and a traditional biceps is how you hold the dumbbell. So the wrists will face in for this one. One minute, starting now. Team, five seconds, four, three, two, one, done. All right, we're getting close to the end here. Exercise number nine. Putting a different spin on a traditional exercise. We're taking it down to a kneeling position and we're gonna bust out our favorite, the Arnold Press. Starting at your eyeballs and then kind of feels like you're drawing a circle around your head. Aim those dumbbells for right above your nose. Now, side note, if you know that your knees aren't so great and kneeling does not feel good to you, then you can totally do this exercise standing. One minute. Let's go, friends. Finish this last one. And we are done with that one. Put them down. One exercise left. Gonna finish with some traditional back rows. So your back is a huge muscle group. Don't deny yourself a really good set here. Starting in a hinged position. Pulling those dumbbells up towards your wrists. Keep those elbows close to your body. And just visualize having a really, really, really flat back here. One minute, let's go. In my soul, this is real. These nights are getting shorter. In my soul, this is real. fun now that was 10 exercises however I'm putting a bonus in here yeah there's no rule that says we can't have a bonus exercise so here's our last exercise it's going to be a 
Russian twists. Grab your lighter set of weights, or you know what? You can totally do just one heavy weight. Have a seat, hinge back, and one minute, taking it side to side here. It's not just your arms moving, you actually want your body, your entire body to rotate. So imagine trying to look at the floor behind you. Continue to lean back. Just think like you're reclining and life is good. Because this, I promise, this will be the last exercise that we do. Done. Great job today, friends. This is either the end of the road where you get some water, stretch it out, or you know what? You can totally hit rewind and do it all again from the beginning. Whatever you decide, you're right, and I'll see you next time. Bye.